This is one of the technical issues that I've ran into with my Litter Robot 4 and how I was able to fix it. It was getting an error message for a pinch detection and it was displaying a yellow ping pong light bar on the unit. When you plug the Litter Robot in and turn it on, it'll automatically start cycling and display a slow yellow blinking light. As you can see, the yellow light on mine here is going from very slow to going very fast. And when it goes very fast, that is the ping pong light bar. This indicates that something is going wrong with the anti-pinch sensors and this message should also be being relayed through the app. I always like to try out a hard reset first for any technical problems just in case that saves me the trouble of having to do anything else or take anything apart. So I turn the unit off, unplug it, wait for 60 seconds, and then I plug it back in and power it on. When it powers back on, like I said earlier, it's going to automatically start cycling. Now if it cycles like usual, no problems, then you're good to go. If it's still continuing to show that yellow ping pong light, we have to do the next step like we did with mine here. The next step here is to turn the unit off, unplug it from the wall. We are going to be taking the unit apart, remove the globe from the base, and we're going to check those anti-pinch sensors. There's two anti-pinch sensors, one on either side of this opening, and when they're pressed, they should be clicking. This ensures that they're working properly, but they also both need to be free of any debris like litter or fur. And then it's as simple as just putting the globe back in place recovering it with the bonnet, plugging the unit in, and turning it on. Thankfully, this fixed my issue immediately, and as soon as it started cycling, it was a complete and normal cycle. This technical issue with the anti-pinch sensors has happened a few times now with my Litter Robot 4, and it usually happens after I clean the unit, and when I'm putting it back together, a piece of litter or something gets stuck in one of those sensors. The sensors are very sensitive, which is a good thing, but also can be annoying when it's a situation like this and it's just a piece of litter. So I hope you found this video helpful and let me know if there's any other technical issues that you've seen with your litter robot for. Thanks for watching. Bye!